First, take out of all items from the package. The package includes user manual, monitor, wireless backup camera, suction cup mount, cigarette lighter adapter, power cord, 4 pin power cord, antenna, green split connector, and T taps. Mount two of the antennas on the monitor. Align the bracket with the bracket hole on the back of the monitor and snap in. Loosen the screw. The angle of the bracket can be flexibly adjusted. You can tear off the protective film and stick it on the dashboard. Hold down the buckle to fix it. After adjusting the angle, tighten the screws. Connect the power cord with four pin connector to the camera. Connect the power cord to the monitor. Red is the positive pole and black is the negative pole. Please test the positive and negative poles in advance. Unscrew the green connector screw. Insert the merged thin black wire into the negative slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. Insert the merged thin black wire into the negative slot of the green connector. Tighten the screws. The plus sign is positive and the minus sign is negative. Connect the cigarette lighter adapter to the green connector. Insert the cigarette lighter adapter into the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button light up. The monitor light up and the image appear on the screen. Hold the sensor with your finger. You can see LED light. The testing finished. Now disconnect all the wires. The easiest way is connect the monitor to cigarette lighter outlet. Plug the cigarette lighter adapter to the power outlet. Press the red button. The red button lights up. The monitor lights up and the screen shows no signals. Align the camera bracket with the license plate hole. Fix the camera and license plate with screws. You can also mount the camera bracket behind the license plate. Tear off the protective film on the camera before use. Connect the camera to the 4-pin power cable. The red wire is connected to the positive wire of the tail light running light license plate light. The black wire is connected to the negative of the tail light running light license plate light ground. The image appear on the screen. Touch the power key to turn off on the screen. Touch the second key to enter the menu mode. Touch the second key again to quit the menu mode. When you insert the SD card, touch a third key to turn on or off the recording function. 
Touch the fourth key to switch to the CM2 channel. Touch the fourth key again to switch to the CM3 channel. Touch the fourth key again to switch to the CM4 channel. Touch the fourth key again to switch to the quad mode. In the quad screen state, touch the second key can't enter menu mode. Touch the fourth key again to switch to the CM1 channel. When not entering the menu function, there is no response when touching the plus and minus keys. Touch the second key to enter the menu mode. The first icon is the pairing signal. If the product you received has an image, the monitor cannot enter pairing mode. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the picture. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the third key. The icon turns red. Touch the plus and minus keys to adjust the brightness. Touch the third key to confirm. The icon turns yellow. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the contrast. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to adjust the contrast. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the HUE. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to adjust the hue. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the mirror flip. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the minus and plus keys to select the mode you need. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the mode. Touch the third key to confirm. You can choose the split mode you need, such as two splits. Touch the plus and minus keys to select the first icon. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the second key to quit the menu mode. Touches the fourth key to switch to the camera channel. Now it's split mode note. Split screen cannot enter menu mode. Touch the fourth key again to switch to the CM1 channel. Touch the second key to enter the menu mode. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the CM setup. Touch the third key to confirm. You can turn on or off signal camera channels, such as CM1 channel. Touch the third key, the icon turns red. Touch the plus and minus keys to turn off the CM1 channel. Touch the third key to confirm. Touches the second key to quit the menu mode. Touches the fourth key to switch to the camera channel. Now it is CM2 channel. Cam 1 channel is closed. Touch the second key to enter the menu mode. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the CM setup. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the third key. The icon turns red. Touch the plus and minus keys to turn on the CM1 channel. Touch the third key to confirm. Touches the second key to quit the menu mode. Touches the fourth key to switch to the camera channel. Cam 1 channel is open. Touch the second key to enter the menu mode. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the system. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the third key. The icon turns red. Touch the plus and minus keys to adjust the system date. Touch the third key to confirm. Adjust here. Month, day, hour, minute, second in turn. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the language. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to select the language you need. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the color sys. Touch the third key to confirm. 
Touch the plus and minus keys to select the NTSC PAL. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the auto dim. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to turn on off the auto dim. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the delay time. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to adjust the delay time. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the P line. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to turn on off the P line. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. After you insert the SD card, you can view the saved video here. After you insert the SD card, you can view the saved video here. Touch the second key to return to the previous interface. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the record. Touch the third key to confirm. After the rewrite function is turned on, if the memory card is full, the video recorded before will be deleted automatically, and then the video will be recorded again automatically. Touch the plus and minus keys to switch to the format. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the plus and minus keys to turn on the format the SD card. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the second key to quit the menu mode. Pick up the SD card. Turn off the monitor's power. Use tools to remove the back cover. Insert SD card. Close the back cover and tighten the screws with tools. Turn on the monitor's power. When you insert a new SD card, you need to format the SD card in advance. Touch the plus and minus keys to select the yes. Touch the third key to confirm. The rack appear on the screen, indicating that the monitor is recording. Touch the third key to turn off the record. The rack not appear on the screen. Touch the third key again to turn on the record. The rack appear on the screen. When you want to enter the menu mode, you need to turn off the video recording function. Touch the third key to turn off the record. The rack not appear on the screen. Touch the second key to enter the menu mode. After you insert the SD card, you can view the saved video here. Touch the plus and minus keys to select the video you want to watch. Touch the third key to confirm. Touch the third key to pause or play the video. Touch the second key to quit the menu mode. Long press the fourth key to turn off the guideline. Long press the fourth key again to turn on the guideline. When the guideline appear on the screen, long touch the third key, the M appear on the screen. Touch the minus key to move the guideline to the left or right. Touch the plus key, the W appear on the screen. Touch the minus key to adjust the width of the guideline. Touch the plus key, the H appear on the screen. Touch the minus key to adjust the height of the guideline. Touch the third key, the letters disappear. There is a white thin wire on the camera extension cable. Hold the sensor with your finger. You can see LED light. Use a tool to cut the white line. Hold the sensor with your finger. You can't see LED light. 
If you need the camera's LED to light up, use a tool to cut off the rubber outside the thin white wire. Be careful not to cut the copper wire inside. Now I'll merge the cut white wire. Hold the sensor with your finger. You can see LED light. Merge the thin white wires. You can use tape to wrap the exposed copper wires. Touch the second key to enter the menu mode. Touch the third key to enter the pairing countdown. Turn off the camera's power and quickly turn on. An image appears on the screen, indicating a successful pairing. The process of connecting the camera to the lamp line. T-taps. T-taps has two holes and one hole is closed. The long line is the line of the lamp or the circuit line on the car. Thrust the car light line into the first hole. camera power cord. Plug the power cord into the second hole. Iron sheets. Clamp the iron sheet to the tap's bottom. 